I think there's millions of people out there that are going, man, I just really wish I could really escape it. Well, today is your lucky day. We are going to learn how to wheelie the Zuma 125. Yes, it's a 2011. Yes, it's old. But hey, listen, it gets the job done. So put on your thinking caps. Bear with me. And we are going to learn how to wheelie a Zuma 125. Well, first things first, you need a scooter. Bingo, we got one. Second thing, you need to learn where the power band is on the scooter. Each scooter is a very different, you know, they're a little bit different. So on the Zuma, it takes a it takes a little time for it to kick in. So once you throttle up, it waits a half a second and then the power hits. No, never three. You need to sit back. You need to get in the back of the seat. That's going to get all the weight into the back of the scooter. It's going to really help you control it and get the front end up. But let's face it, these things are slow as garbage. Step four is the yank. Yes, you got to yank it. These do not have power by any means. So once you feel that power band, you need to yank the bars and make it come back. Now, once that happens, we get to step five. Five. So five is the balance point. Just like anything else you want to wheelie, you got to get to the balance point. The balance point is pretty far back on the scooter and it kind of makes you a little nervous but that's where it's easy to ride it out so you're not just using power and running out and running up to like however fast you're going to go. So you got to get to the balance point and ride it out. Step six. There's a lot of steps here. It's really not that hard but step six. Step six. Six is covering the rear brake. Now the rear brake on a scooter is a whole lot easier on, on, on a scooter is a whole lot easier than it is on a motorcycle because a motorcycle is your foot. It's kind of hard to eh, like in, when you're learning how to do wheelies on a, on a motorcycle, you kind of use too much and you brake too much. But on these, you can see it's a hand brake, and which makes it that much easier. So let's put all of the steps to play and see what happens. So that's basically it. Follow steps, trial and error, practice makes perfect. Honestly, it, it's so much fun learning how to wheelie these things. It, it's so simple, it really is. And if you want to learn how to wheelie them and you don't have a scooter, hit me up. You can borrow mine. We'll have some fun. Just hit me up in the comments or whatever, the Facebook or Instagram, whatever. Hit me up and we'll go, well, I'll go teach you how to wheelie. And I'm by no means a good wheelie guy. I, I, I'm mediocre at best. So um, the guys that are doing the stand-ups and the tricks and blah, 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 yeah, I can't do that. I can just kind of hang it there and have a good time, whatever. I can get it up. But anyway, uh, hit me up if you want to wheelie one. Uh, if you show up to a meet, yeah, you might get a little flack on a, on a scooter, but if you wheelie, if you bust out a wheelie, the, the, those sport bike guys are going to be like, oh, damn, well, that ain't bad. I promise you. I, I, I've done it before, and people laugh. That's what these things are all about, in my opinion. They bring so much joy to people. So, figure it out. Give it a shot. Follow the steps. Yeah, they're stupid. Wear a helmet. Okay, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm not wearing a helmet. Um, forgot it at home. Didn't want to go back. It is what it is. But anyway, please... Give it a shot. Have some fun. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm having so much fun doing this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Whatever it may be.